The current LCCT that copes with 15 million passengers a year, okay, current LCCT, 15 million passengers a year, is built at a cost, original cost of 108 million ringgit only. And after that, uh, originally it was for 10 million, then added 5 million passengers, the upgrade for another 124 million. So the total cost of the existing LCCT that you go and use now, okay, is 232 million ringgit. Okay, as opposed to what we are going to have, 3.9 billion ringgit. Of course, it's not fair because the, the, the current terminal does not have your third runway. Uh, it, 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 the, they, they have to build some of the basic infrastructure. It was already there because it was a cargo airport. But this gives you the, the comparison as to the contrast on the cost between the new airport and the uh, current one. That we are using. So the current one is built on a budget fashion. You go in there, you know it's a budget terminal. Okay. The new one seems to be built as good as a premium uh, airport terminal. Now the master plan uh, gave very clear uh, reasons why it is built like that. Now, this is a site. This square here is the site of the airport. <coughs> here is hilly. Okay, you get sun, xiao sun la. Okay. Here is flat. Now, <coughs> this is, it says here on the nose, apron one, apron two. Apron is where the aircraft rest. Okay? They have built the aprons on the hilly side. Why? They cut the hills. Okay? Make it flat, they cut the hills. Because the soil there is solid. Uh, the soil on the hill is solid. That means it doesn't sink. Like, okay? The report clearly says you don't build anything here because soft ground it is made of peat swamp. Okay, the cost you can build, but the cost will be fantastic because you have to dig out all the the peat soil, all the all the all the sand and stuff, and then fill it with all the proper earth, compact, rest, settle, and stuff like that. So a lot of work required over here. So you find that there's apron one, which is the current main terminal, okay, half of it, and then the future development already prepared the land over here, okay, and you have got the one runway, two runway, one, two, okay, and the third runway is supposed to be here, also not in this area, only in the very, very far future when you need a fourth and fifth runway, then you think about building it on this side of the airport, okay, this is the, the plan, so one, two, three, Proposed original, this is four, this is five. The western part of the site, okay, mainly comprises saturated marine clays with an overly, overlay of peat material. The combination of the drainage problems and the type of material means that the western part of the site has poor bearing qualities. Poor bearing qualities means cannot take the load. Okay? Uh, and it's not suitable for airport construction without undertaking significant engineering measures to improve load bearing capacity. Now, even after these measures to, to, to improve load bearing capacity have been undertaken, there is likely to be some settlement on the ground and the area should be allowed to consolidate for a period prior to being used for airport construction. So, it needs to be consolidated for maybe two years. Now, what, what, what this means is what? You know, you go to LCCT, uh, some of the road, uh, got <laughs> No? You build the road that time don't have one. But after six months, then you can boom. Because why? The soil settles. Now that's your normal road. Imagine it happening for your runway. For your aeroplanes. Okay, that's the reason why this area is avoided in the original master plan. What they did, this was this is the main terminal. Huh? This is the just now you saw the plan where they put the original LCCT, the KLIA2. They moved it here. They move this uh, original plan in the master plan here. They moved it south to here. And I think earlier I showed you. Okay. This was the proposed long-term car park. Okay. And you can see where it is done. This is apron one, apron two. Where it is now done is here. Where the soil is soft. This is the main terminal. This was the original, original KLIA 1992 master plan site for the new extension. You have one control tower here. 
here. Okay? It sees both this terminal and this terminal. Okay? But because they so pandai, they move this to here, and after they build the new design, this is not the design, but they build the new design, they realize that control tower here cannot see the planes here. So because of that, they have to build a new control tower. So you have two control towers within a two kilometer area. The only modern airport in the world. Don't talk about those built before they got constraints and stuff. Modern airport built since 1950s with two control towers. So the Minister of Transport, MAHB, must answer. Why did they make the uh, hard to believe or fathom move to the new site? Okay, some of the terms they use are uh, this is known as KLIA North, KLIA South, KLIA West. Okay, why did they move from the original KLIA North location to the KLIA West? Cannot understand. And this is the reason why costs have went up by more than 2 billion ringgit. It is overcrowded. There, there's no question that we need to move to a new airport. So we are not disputing the need to build a new LCCT. We are disputing location, which resulted in the... I mean, location also doesn't matter. You want to shift, never mind. Lah. But as long as your costs don't balloon uh, like crazy. Okay.